Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly resize and set up your photos for printing in Photoshop. Hope you enjoy. What's up friends, how you doing? It's your favorite lanky Australian boy, Peach here. Um, this is a bit of a companion to the last video I posted about setting up your photos to be printed and framed. So this is the digital component. I probably could have added this into the last video, but it was just a bit too long. So now I'm gonna show you how to take your photos from uh, Lightroom and Photoshop and wherever you've processed them online basically and resize them and get them prepared to be sent off to be printed. So let's get into that right now. This, uh, these photos that I'm using are from my recent Europe trip. I've got a bunch that I wanna put into frames. So what you're going to do first is select the photos that you want. I've got these three here. That one's from Athens in Greece and the other two are from Spain. So you're going to, once they're all edited and processed the way that you like, you're going to right click and edit in Adobe Photoshop CC and that's going to open them in Photoshop. For the sake of time, I've done it already. So these are our three photos here in Photoshop. This first one is going to be the hero. That's going to be the big print of the three. That's going to be the main one that I'm doing. So this photo is going to be going into an Ikea river frame. I'll show you this bad boy here. They're not the best frames. They're, um, they're a bit awkward to hang. The aspect ratio is funny, but uh, they are pretty cheap and they're consistent. So if I can't find frames at op shops or thrift stores, I generally use Ikea because it's nice to have them all the same. Anyway, so the printable area on this frame is 40 by 50 centimeters. So we need to get the right aspect ratio for this photo. So what we're gonna do is go to the crop tool and I'm going to do 40. by 50 centimeters. And we will adjust the crop a little bit. Click OK. And that one's good to go. So that's gonna be our main one. The other two I'm just going to do as five by seven inches. And again, adjust the crop and it's going to resize it automatically. Cool, so that one's in five by seven as well. This one, we're gonna swap around the aspect ratio because it's in landscape. Adjust the crop and click okay, cool. Okay, cool, so now we have our photos resized. This one is 40 centimeters by 50. The other two are five by seven inches. What I'm gonna do now is put them all on the same document. So instead of buying different prints for each, you can save time and money by getting a bigger print for cheaper than it would cost to get lots of different separate ones. And you can place them all within that bigger print and then just cut them out when you get it. So the bigger print that I'm going to use, the size is going to be 20 inches by 36 inches. In which case you're gonna set up a new document in Photoshop, file new. And that'll bring up the little dialog box here. Uh, you can do, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a custom. I've already got it set up here. So width 20, height 36 inches, uh, just because that's the size of print that I found that I wanted to print on. Where is it? So yeah, you have a look at the print options. That's gonna be a really good size. To be honest, I could do even smaller, but for the sake of this video, 20 by 36, Set that up now. Resolution of 300 is very important for print and the rest is okay. So now it's as simple as Command A to select it, Command C to copy, and on this new document, where's the sidebar? Command V to paste it on. So now this, from the original file, this is gonna be 40 by 50 centimeters and it's going to fit perfectly within the um, new frame that we've got so now we'll make a new layer and we're going to do the same for the other two photos command a command c and then paste it across <coughs> oh, bless me same for the other one command a command c new layer and you're going to paste it across okay so basically what you can do is um, fit these all around the canvas all around this new document, which is gonna 
be you know perfectly resized to the print that you want um, I'm not actually going to print this one because I want to add a few more pictures in but for the sake of it I'll I'll just show you how to do it um, so yeah you could fit as many as you wanted in here you could um, even get a bigger print and fit more within it fit a couple of big ones um, but but anyway basically because it's all resized perfectly once you export this and upload it to the um, printer or take it to the printer all the sizes are going to fit really really well and it's going to work for your frames so the next thing to do I might just collapse all this quickly. So the next step is really important, the way that you export it. You're not just going to do a normal file save or save as, you need to actually do a export. So here we go, export, export as. We're just gonna export it as a JPEG, but we wanna make sure that the quality is as good as possible and also that the right color space is attached. So my understanding is for printing, you want to use the sRGB color space and um, that's really important because it will give you the best representation of the photos that you've edited. So here we're just going to change the file format to JPEG. This all looks fine. And convert to sRGB, that's really important. So now we'll do export. So as I mentioned in the last video, printing digitally is a little bit of a trial and error process. Every printer, every company, every even the type of paper that you use, it's going to make a difference to how the print looks. Um, so if you're if you're worried or if it's something very important, the proper thing to do would be order a um, some some test prints basically. So order, do your edits a little bit differently, add some brightness in, add some sharpening, change the level of blacks and do a few different edits and order a test print um, to work out which one is the best. But for me, I'm not too bothered. These are just going in my bedroom. So um, this will do. Just be aware that sometimes you can get inconsistent results. So anyway, let's export that as it is. It's gonna be a big file around about 60 megabytes. But that's all Gucci. Cool, so as I mentioned, I've used rgbdigital.com.au for my prints. Um, I've tried a couple of other places and I prefer to do them online just for convenience sake. Like I said, these are only going in my bedroom. It's not anything too important. So um, for you know digital photographic prints online, um, I definitely am very happy with RGB Digital. They uh, process and send you your prints really quickly. Within a couple of days, you should have them at your door. Um, so you just need to go to their online lab here. Click photo prints. This will open this little app. And then you click add photos. So then you just drag it on. It'll take a little while to upload. For the sake of brevity, I've already got one here from yesterday. So you click your print. It's going to be the exact same dimensions that you had them in Photoshop and now you choose the correct size. This one's going to be 20 by 36, $26.90. Done. You're good to go. Check out and it's going to come perfectly. This is exactly what I did with the prints in my last video. They came out really well and I probably saved 20 or $30 from doing them individually. Um, it's pretty easy to cut them out. And in the last video, like I said, op shop frames, five to $10 each. I think the Ikea ones are probably $20 each or something like that. Um, but anyway, that's the end of my uh, cheap and easy tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.